everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today we will talk about visualization and how they help us with understanding our data. So I downloaded the data from Kaggle, this is bakery sales, and here we have row data. In first two columns we have seen row, date, time and sales. In the second C and D there is aggregated date, time and sales. I would aggregate to show you how it supports us with understanding the trends. So first step, let's mark A in B column and let's insert the 2D line chart here. Why I usually do it? To see if we have any outliers in our data. So something unexpected that we have in our sales data. But you can already see that something happened in 2009, 2019 that is much, much uh, bigger than any other day in the data, in the month or day in the data. And what we can do already to see what's happened is to mark sales here and sort larger to smallest. We see that in 26th of June we have extremely big sales. And what we can do to, it's not maybe the best way, but what we can do to see uh, really the real trend, not just this big uh, line and uh, usual sales, is to delete this value. And then our data is showing us how the real trends looks like. So we can already see that is going, growing up and, and um, long grading, but still is giving us the trend that is pretty similar in all the uh, all the months that we have our data. So from 2019 to 2022, 2020, sorry. Uh, what you can do with aggregate data, I'm usually doing, is to just let's, let's make the same like we did for A, B columns. So data and sales, and this value I created by this data by just uh, aggregated it in pivot tables, so nothing special here. Let's make it here, to the chart, and what we can really see, it's more clearly, uh, because we, can know we, don't, we don't have the day data, so we don't have so many points. And you can see that data is showing us how it's going, and which month it has bigger sales um, than um, other months. Uh, in this data, we don't have full years, so we can compare year to year. We have just half of 19 and half of 22, 2020, sorry. Uh, but we already see that some of the months are bigger, like uh, January and February, and the, um, and the month with the bigger sales in, um, in June. Okay, uh, that's it from these two uh, topics. Let's go, I will show you just one more thing about this visualization. Uh, here we have the same data, but just with days. So in the previous, I delete the days value, and here we have days. And I want to show you how sparkline are working. So first of all, we have month, we have, uh, sorry, days. Then we have the day of the uh, number of days. So if Monday is one, Tuesday is two, and this summarize of the value by this period of time. What we can do, let's just copy. Let's just copy by using transpose, the same for amount A, and for example, if I have first time some of the data, and I have a uh, month for specific, specific year, I don't want to quickly, uh, quickly check uh, if I have any trend or bigger outline for, for the month, what I'm doing, I'm just mark everything, insert, and click line location range, let's put it here directly with the data. What we can already see is simple line chart. What I usually do is the uh, first and last point and the markers to see if there is any trend or something. This is pretty similar data, so it's given us seven months, but this uh, give us the understanding. Uh, one thing what we can do is to see which, because here we don't see um, the difference between how the months are big comparing each other. So if you want to change it, just click this column here. And you can already see that first and the end of the month are the biggest one. And the February is extremely small, as you can see as well in the data. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.